What's up guys? Um, today I am doing a video on the specific gravity test. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it and um, we're going to see how accurate it is. Um, I have a fake panda right here. Uh, I did a video on the comparison of a real one and a fake one and I'm actually going to use it again for this video. Uh, so we'll see the difference in weight um, with the specific gravity test, all right? So those of you that want to try this with your silver, if you're, um, you know, paranoid about a piece that you have or you're not sure if it's real, whatever, um, this is how you can do it. Um, so you're going to need a glass of water, enough water to be able to submerge these completely without touching the edges or anything, a uh, scale, and a notepad, um, and a calculator. And unless you're good with math, you could do it in your head. All right. So first thing you want to do is you want to weigh them. So let's get these uh, weighed. So you weigh them by themselves. So this is the fake one, 30.3 grams, okay? And let's weigh the real one, 31 point, look at that, right on there, 31.1. Well, it went back down, but all right, so it's about 31 grams, okay? So uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to tie these up with a string, and we're going to submerge it. But I definitely can't do that one-handed, so I will be right back. All right, so finally got them both tied up to a string. Um, just so you know, it is kind of a pain to get your stuff tied up. So make sure you're um, you don't you don't have to do this to all your silver. Um, just you know anything that you feel may be a little questionable. You're not gonna want to trust me. You're gonna do it, and you're gonna be like, I'm not doing that every time. All right. So the next thing you're going to do, um, and also have a cotton towel handy um, because you don't want your silver sitting in water for too long. You want to dry it up as quick as possible, okay? Uh, so the next thing you want to do is get the glass of water, all right, put it on your scale, all right, and you're going to tear that till it's at zero, okay? Um, I'm going to do the real one first. Because I want to dip it, I want to put it on the um, dry towel. So we're going to do the, the real one first, okay? So here you go. What you do is you just put it in there. Fully in there. Without touching anything. There we go. And we got three, what is it, three grams? Three grams, okay? Three grams, put it on there. Dry that bad boy up real quick. Um, and I'm just using the this panda because I just happen to have a fake one of the same year. And I just want you guys to see the difference. Um, trust me, I would normally not do this unless I was really um, worried about it. All right, so hopefully that's pretty dry. Now let's get the, I'm going to write that down, three grams because I, my memory, forget it. Okay, and I'm also going to show you the math that you need to know, okay? All right, let's grab this bad boy here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. Oh, see what I mean? Give me one second. I got to tie this bad boy back up. Okay, so I got this tied up again. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, and we're in business. I think I got a little too frisky last time. All right, so here we go. Let's put it in the water. Oh, my goodness. The scale's not even on. Hold on one second, guys. This, uh... <laughs> This video is turning out great. All right, hold on. Make sure it's still, okay, it's still still good. Here we go. Uh, make sure you don't touch anything. Like you just heard, I'm hitting the glass. Fully submerged. Let it sit for a second. 4.3 is what we got. Okay, so here we go. We're back in business. 4.3, so let's get the calculator. Let's do some math. Uh, let's do the first, let's do the real panda first. All right, so what you wanna do is the, the weight before putting it in the water, the original weight, which was 31 on the nose, divided by what it weighed in the water, which was three. And we got 10.3, three, 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 three. All right, that's the number we want. So not bad, pretty close, um, legit, good job. All right, next, let me see, what was the, uh, the fake one? Let's do the fake one here, 30.2 divided by four, 4.3 which was what it weighed in the water equals and there you go 
huge difference. All right. So does a specific gravity test work? I would say so. And there you go. So, um, you know, for anyone that wanted to know how to do it, now you know. Anyone that uh, is getting into the silver deal, um, I you definitely get a scale. Uh, once you have the scale, then you pretty much could do this on your own. These everything you need for this is pretty much um, regular household items. Okay. So yes, the specific gravity test does work, and it's pretty clear cut difference between the fake one and the real one. Okay. Uh, minus the obvious. I mean, look at this thing. Terrible. You know. But. Um, that's it. So here you go. Specific gravity test. It works. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Hopefully you laughed at some of the disasters of this video. But um, uh, nonetheless, you get the idea. Um, make sure you like the video. You subscribe, please. Um, and check me out on Facebook. I'll leave, the I'll leave a link in the description uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. And... Keep stacking.